Good morning, friends. Pastor Todd here, bringing you another good word for this week. I hope you're having a great morning. It's a peaceful morning. Uh, temperature's in about the 70s, so it's going to be hot today. But um, hey, we're we're uh, we're in the Word this morning, and we're we're um, hopefully going to find some encouragement here. Uh, I talked the other day about uh, anticipation, and you know, with this with this coming Sunday being Pentecost Sunday, uh, you know, we we I try to imagine what the uh, disciples were going through when they were waiting for God's promised gift of the Holy Spirit. Uh, you know, the the anticipation that they felt when they were waiting there and and just thinking, wow, when's when's this going to happen? What's going to happen? What's it going to be like? Remember as a kid, just uh, anticipating certain things. I can remember uh, when my mom and dad were, were planning to go to the amusement, take us all to the amusement park. We, you know, of course, we all knew about it several days in advance because mom and dad were planning it. And the anticipation was there. You know, I was like, oh, wow. I, even though I've been there before, wow, what's this going to be like? The excitement, you know, the excitement of going there and getting on all the rides and, you know, all that stuff. Anticipation. Um, the, the, the disciples were, I'm sure, full of anticipation when they were, uh, in that upper room. And then when the Holy Spirit came, He filled, He filled the room, He filled the, He filled the disciples, He filled them up with His presence. And I just wanted to, I wanted to take this devotion and, and, uh, talk about filling with the Holy Spirit for a moment. Um, John fifteen twenty six says this, When the Helper comes, whom I shall send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth who proceeds from the Father, he will testify of me. John fifteen twenty six. The Holy Spirit gives us liberty, gives liberty to the Christian, direction to the worker, dis discernment to the teacher, power to the word, and fruit for faithful service. If you know Christ... You don't need to beg for the Holy Spirit to come into your life. He is already there, whether you feel his presence or not. Don't confuse the Holy Spirit with an, emo an emotional feeling or a particular type of spiritual experience. It is never a question of how much you and I have of the Spirit, but how much he has of us. Your body is the home of the Holy Spirit. It is my belief that a, a person who is filled with, with the Spirit may not even be conscious of it. My friend, the late Roy Gustafson, once said, The Holy Spirit didn't come to make us Holy Spirit conscious, but Christ conscious. So, are we Christ conscious? The Holy Spirit, he... he he does so many things in our lives. He he is the third person of the triune God. And he fills our room. He fills our he fills us. And like it says here, whether we know it or not, whether we feel his presence or not, he is here with us. And that is just such a comforting thing to know that the Holy Spirit is there to guide us, direct us, comfort us, convict us. Send us all these great things that the Holy Spirit does. And he gives liberty to the Christian. He gives, he gives us liberty. He's free. He frees us. And he leads us into all truth. That is some great stuff from the Holy Spirit. So keep these things in mind this week as, as we, uh, ponder, um, uh, Pentecost Sunday coming up. And the coming of the Holy Spirit. Well, that is uh, the devotion for today. And uh, I hope you have a, a great day. Meditating on the Word. Prayer. Reading God's Word. Being with Him. And He, he, he lifts us up. He encourages us. And then, so, so that's why I encourage you to be in the Word. Be in prayer. And uh, you know, just know that we at New Heart Church of the Nazarene... 
would love to pray with you. So, so please give us a call. Look us up on Facebook. Uh, go to our website and leave us a prayer request. We would love to connect with you. Well, friends, have a great day. It's a, it's an awesome day today. And uh, take care. We'll see you on Sunday. Love you. God bless.